You've seen this, right? A tree on fire in front of Fox. Heartbreaking. This is this is anti-Christian. This is anti-Christmas. This is a hate crime. But at least they think they got the guy responsible. The alleged guy is in police custody until he was out of police custody. Here he is being released. He's walking out and absolutely no bail, no cash. He didn't have to post anything. He's walking around a free man right now. Here are the charges against him. Nothing, okay? Six mis misdemeanor charges, no felony charge. Even though allegedly he destroyed a half million dollars worth of stuff, he was granted supervised release without bail. This is America, huh? Post George Floyd, do anything to stop mass incarceration. So Mr. Uh, Tama Naha was interviewed just after his uh, get out of jail little little walk. Where are you gonna go now, sir? I'm going home. You got a cigarette? I don't smoke. Anybody got a cigarette? What about the trees, sir? Why 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 why? I didn't do it. Take the subway. And he's he walks off alone. By the way. Part of that supervised bail, huh? No fire, no cigarettes, no matches. I think that's very, very reasonable. This is a sign of everything, everything going wrong in America, especially I think New York City is ground zero. Here's this. When you see people coming into our country, you see, well, this is bad. This shouldn't be. It's not fair to the people who live here. It's not fair to these people. It's very dangerous, um, disease. Uh, <laughs> they could drown. They should come in legally and safely. Well, we knew it. A lot of Democrats see not um, illegal intrusion. They see potential voters. Take a look at this. It's actually happening. Non-citizens voting in New York City. New York City is poised to give voting rights to non-citizens. It's happening as we speak. They're ratifying it downtown. Take a look. Here are the details. It will allow some 800,000 non-citizens uh, eligibility to vote. It will take effect January 1st. Now, they will only at first be allowed to vote in local races like New York City mayor. Hey, that is a big, big job. It's actually happening. So um, they're letting criminals go free. They are saying foreigners can vote. This is what happens when you start to destroy American democracy. And here's a sign of it. The Thomas Jefferson statue, you heard about this too. Thomas Jefferson statue in City Hall, they said they would take it out and they are taking it out. It's actually already gone. So where this chamber, where he used to preside, figuratively, this is the same chamber where they just allowed uh, foreigners to vote in American elections. It's insane, it's happening. Donald Trump warned us, he really did. This week it's Robert E. Lee. I noticed that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week? And is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You know, you, all, you really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop? But George Washington was a slave owner. Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we going to take down, excuse me, are we going to take down, are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Now we're going to take down his statue. And he's gone. And a lot of what he stood for is gone. Law and order is gone. And insanity is prevailing. Now, here's something insane and disturbing and harmful. And it breaks my heart. These kids in Portland, public school children being forced to socially distance during lunch in the rain, 40 degree weather. You see those little orange things? They are barrels that the kids are forced to sit on. And you can see it is a crummy, rainy day and the kids are outside. Is this, is this America? Well, this is also America. Nancy Pelosi dining with her friends, maskless, as the kids are forced under a bridge, socially distanced. I mean, this is not America. This is, the thing is, I don't know if an election can fix this. I don't know if an election can, I mean, it can help. Um, can an election fix this? A burning tree, anti-Christian hate, the guy who did it allegedly is already out on the streets. 
Can an election fix that? I, it can help. But here is a solution that I think could go a bit further. We had Eric Metaxas on the show earlier this week. And whatever your religion, if you are Christian, Judeo-Christian values are so important to this country. But he said something that has stuck with me ever since. If they really celebrated Christmas, if they really, really believe the insane idea that God sent his son to this world, et cetera, et cetera. So if they really believed that and lived it out, it would be no contest. People who say they're Christians, what they really mean is, I'm not a Jew, I'm not an atheist, I'm not a Muslim, I guess I'm a Christian. They really act in a secular way. And so it's up to us who claim to believe this to decide, do I really believe this? Did it really happen? If it did happen, if this is true, if this story is more than a fairy tale, it is the most amazing story in the history of the world. Some people have called it the greatest story ever told. If people who call themselves Christians, I'm not talking about Gentiles, I'm talking about Christians, actually believed this and lived it out as though it were true, because it is, it would be a totally different ballgame. It's easy for us to attack the left. The left doesn't really have to do anything except, you know, uh, it's kind of like Lucy with the football. You know, you don't have to kick the football. You can't blame Lucy. I like this. I like this a lot. 